Hi, Eagles. I'm Dr. Bernadette Barton, um, and I'm a sociology professor and the director of gender studies at Moorhead State University. Uh, the folks in communication and marketing asked me to make a short video to talk to you about happiness during this trying time. I teach a course called The Sociology of Happiness, and I've been studying the practice of happiness now for a few years. Um, I encourage you to take it if you're interested. Um, so I'm going to share a couple of happiness tips here. First of all, there's a difference between knowing what to do to make yourself happier and actually doing it. So, for example, you probably, like me, have been spending a lot of time online reading about the COVID virus and reading suggestions for how to keep your well-being high and then how to take care of yourself during this trying time. So you know already probably that getting a lot of exercise, getting out in the sun, uh, having good night's sleep, eating well, meditating, having a positive mindset, all that stuff is really good for improving happiness. But again, knowing is not doing. So for example, I saw this really funny meme floating around that I just it has really stuck with me, uh, where somebody wrote about how day one of the quarantine, I'm going to learn to play the piano, and I'm going to get a Microsoft certification, and I'm going to train for a marathon and meditate. Day four of the quarantine, I'm pouring ice cream over my pasta. <laughs> so I think that sums up what a lot of us are going through. Um, what I've found to be helpful for me in keeping my well-being high and with my happiness is instead of adding in a whole bunch of new things uh, that don't make sense in my life, period, much less in my life when I'm healthy at home, I've instead been focusing on keeping up the activities I already do. So for me, I already was somebody who took a walk every day for sure, um, and I went to yoga a couple times a week. So now I'm walking the dog every day in my neighborhood, um, and I found a yoga download online, and I've been doing class uh, from there, you know, pretty often. Every couple of days I'm doing a yoga class, so that's good. Um, and I'm trying to add in one new thing. And so for me, that's been meditation. I've been meaning to get a meditation practice going for years. I've been slowly building up to it, and here I am during the quarantine, certainly lots of time to do a meditation practice, managing to get a 15-minute meditation in. Um, every other day or so. And then for me, there's there's actually lots of free apps for that if you're interested. I use Insight Timer. I like um, to listen to Tibetan singing bowls because that's, you know, really good for me. Um, I also encourage you to consider adding in a joyful activity, something that raises uh, joy inside of yourself. And that would be dancing maybe, or singing, or riding your bike. For some, it might be knitting or cooking. So try to add in something every day that makes you feel joyful. Um, I also encourage you to be careful about your social media usage because comparisons are a big happiness killer. So it's easy, even in the best of times when we get on social media, to compare our lives to other people's lives and our responses to other people's responses and feel bad about ourselves. That's only going to be exacerbated now. So. Be careful about spending time on social media. I would cut, make it low if possible. Um, I also encourage folks really to keep up with your work as much as possible. You know, you can always employ what I call the B minus solution, um, which is that if this is not the time to be doing your A work, at least try to keep your work at a B minus level so you pass everything. You don't want to be failing anything these days. Um, but at the same time, don't expect your productivity to rise now. We're all stressed out. We're all coping the best we can. So I encourage you to let yourself off the hook and let other people off the hook. Um, everyone is coping the best they can. So let's be understanding and be kind to one another. Um, stay healthy, Eagles. I miss you. And I look forward to the day when we are back together.